Hey, brother! Guys, last week was Severus Snape's birthday, and as such, there is a new Ultimate Severus Snape quiz on Pottermore, and today, Ben and I are facing off. Let's do it. Yes. Now, I think I, I won maybe the last two. So you've got a lot to, a lot to fight against. You're in your Slytherin colors, though. Always. Yeah. Always. Always. I'm always in Slytherin colors. I see what you did there with the always. Ah, uh, yes. Totally on purpose. Totally on purpose. Always. 100% not coincidental. Not at all. As always, we invite you to play along with us. We will include a link to the quiz in the description below, but Ben and I will be playing a little bit differently. Derek is going to read us the question, which we must answer from memory. We will not have the multiple choice unless we both agree that we would like to hear the multiple choice. Which does occasionally happen. Does occasionally happen, but it's great when someone wants it and someone doesn't. It adds a tick of strategy to the game. It does, it does. If you're winning, you might just... Hazard a guess anyway. You might just hazard a guess. You might. New favorite phrase. <laughs> let's, let's play. Let's play. Question number one. In the books, where did we see Severus Snape for the first time? Three, two, one. In the Great Hall staff table. Uh, in the Great Hall, yes. Okay, awesome. Okay. Great Hall is the I had answer. Mm. start of term I appreciate the feast specificity. in the Great Hall. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Also, you need to be better about like covering your answers. You must have been the most cheated on person in all of high school. <laughs> Not with girls. <laughs> that I know of. Good. Oh. <laughs> Question <laughs> two. <laughs> that would be devastating. Snape's nose is said to be like a blank. Hmm. <laughs> this, can you read my oh, answer? Oh, it's way better. It's way better. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's off camera. For all we know, you could be I showing him. <laughs> I, I could have gone full turkey and turned it around again. I feel like I feel like I know how they describe his nose, but I, I don't remember it being compared to something. I agree. I think I'm using their whatever they're saying it's comparing to is what I'm. I'm just using the descriptor word. If this is something else, I'm gonna say. Pooey on the quiz. Three, two, one. Hook? I said hooked nose. Hook, yeah, hook okay. is correct. Okay, good. Uh, that's a, that's a, I don't think that that's a very good question. No, but, I agree. Um, because I think, well, when I hear it described as a hooked nose, I don't think that they're like, his nose was like a hook. Oh, yeah, I agree. It's like, like, it's like describing sort of like a, like a, like a shape. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not... Yeah, anyway. Not like a fish hook. Not like a fish hook. <laughs> yeah. Right. Question number three. Where did Snape grow up as a child? Oh, I got it. Crab sandwiches. I got it. I got it. Mm. <laughs> the mental blockade. Watch me, watch me behind me totally wrong. That's the worst. I know. Um... <laughs> My answer is England. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Earth. <laughs> Three, two, one. Spinner's end. Did I say sorry? Sorry. Oh. <laughs> sorry. My apology. I thought you were just apologizing. The correct answer is Spinner's end. Woo! Oh, man. Yes. How do you remember oh, that? Oh, man. Oh, man. I am so happy about that one. Woo. The early lead. The early lead. The early lead. All right, all right. This is no good. Question number four. Which of Snape's parents was a muggle? Which one was a muggle? Correct. Keep your answers hidden. Three, two, one. Father. Father is correct. Right, that's why he goes by Half prince, prince. Because his mom was the witch. Right. Question number five. What spell did Snape indirectly teach Harry during dueling club? Indirectly? Mm -hmm. Like what does he cast on Lockhart? I think it's the one you're thinking of. Okay, three, two, one. Expelliarmus! Yes. <laughs> I feel like he directly teaches them that. Mm, they are... They don't, like, say, we're going to teach you how to disarm your opponent. Lockhart's just like, let's show them how to begin. And then Snape just beats him with that spell. And then Lockhart's like, well, <laughs> uh, if I'd wanted to stop you, it would have only been too easy. It was pretty obvious. Uh, what you're about to do. Question number six. What was the Marauder's brutal nickname for Snape? Three, two, one. Snivellus? Snivellus is yes. correct. All right. Question seven. Which student had their boggart turn into Professor Snape? Child's play. Three, two, one. Neville. Yes, it was Neville. All right. Flying through these. Question number eight. What did Snape once cruelly call Hermione? Is he only mean to Hermione on one one occasion? Okay. I feel, com I feel comfortable. Okay. 
Three, two, one. I said an insufferable know-it-all. An insufferable know-it-all is correct. You put know-it-all. Okay. okay. I, I think that's I'll fine. Give, I'll okay. give it to you. Okay. I could, I actually, I remembered that there was a descriptor to know-it-all, but I couldn't remember what it was. I happened to have just listened to that chapter, so it was a little, it was fresh on the brain. Sure, 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 sure. Question number nine. What is the first line Snape utters in a Harry Potter book? <sighs> okay, I feel like I get this one wrong. I know this is among the first thing he says. Yeah, <clears throat> this is gonna be one where I don't know if I'm if the movie is clouding my mm. my knowledge. It, of it the could be. All right, three, two, one. There will be no foolish wand waving in this class. The correct answer is ah yes, Harry Potter, our new celebrity. Uh, uh, gonna have to play a clip from the movie yeah, where he says he walks he in. He just and sort says, of walks in mm -hmm. and starts commanding. Be no foolish wand waving or silly incantations in this class. Even if I had the multiple choice, I don't know if I would have gotten that right. I bet. I bet what we said was one of the choices. It wasn't. Interesting. No. Enough. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, then maybe, maybe I would I, have. I, maybe I would have. Yeah. Huh. All right. Question I'm ten. I'm we had the same oh. thing. I think it was in the movie. Yeah. 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 Okay. Question ten. Question ten. Which pet did Snape once test a potion out on in class? Three, two, one. Trevor the Toad. Ah. It's Trevor the Toad. Yeah! <laughs> as soon as you heard it, I knew that you knew it was wrong. <laughs> yep. Scabbers! Scabbers! That would have been great if he tested it on Pettigrew. On Pettigrew, that's true. That would have been yeah. hilarious in yeah. retrospect. Yeah. Shoot. Question 11. Which of these magical skills was Snape known to be particularly gifted at? You know what? I can just guess. Okay. Oh. Three, two, one. Legilimency. Legilimency. Spelled somehow. Yes. <laughs> Spelled with letters. Correct. I am certain there is an L. Question 12. What was the first potion that Snape taught Harry's class to make? Oh my gosh, that is a great question, and I do not know. <sighs> Frankly. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like Snape doesn't actually really teach them. He's just like, here's the recipe. Go. <laughs> You know, right. It's not like the reason you would use boom slang skin in this particular potion is because the properties of the boom slang skin are such. Okay, yeah. So like with the Half Blood Prince, for example, it's like they, Hermione keeps uh, accusing Harry of cheating, but it's like he's still just following instructions. It just means the book wasn't as good as someone else. Sure. Yeah. Well. So it's like. Like, potions is like a weird cheating one because they're all following instructions. Right. It's not the like you're doing right it from, there. Right. They're not doing yeah. it from memory. I think you do. Do you have to do it from memory even on the exams? I don't know. It seems like it should be a lot easier. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. True, true, true. You want to get multiple choice for this one? I think I do. Okay. The draft of peace, swelling solution, shrinking solution, and a potion to cure boils. Okay. Three, two, one. Shrinking solution. Shrinking solution. A potion to cure boils. No! Come on! I do not remember that. Man! Yeah. Oh, I was thinking when you first encounter Snape on the first day of class, they don't really, I don't think they actually brew a potion. You just sort of meet Snape. Right. And right, then I was right. thinking, oh, maybe that's why I can't think of it because it's further into the book. It seems like it's going to be one of these <laughs> offhand comments where it's like, well, Ron was supposed to be working on a solution to yeah, that's reduce boils. Exactly His was. face started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We should find that exact text. I was it thinking on of because when he they do the shrinking solution, they test it. That's what they test on Trevor. Ah. Uh, because it shrinks down to a tadpole, and then he pours something on it. Anyway. Anyway. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. 13? 13. Question 13. In Harry's strange dream on his first night at Hogwarts, which character turned into Snape? Man, I don't remember this. Why would he turn into Snape? Would it be a positive character that turned into a negative character, like a like an anxiety dream? Or would it be like a negative character that morphs into like the new version of the old negative character? Who's to say? Who is to say? All right, ready? Three, two, one. Malfoy. The correct answer is Draco Malfoy. Yes! Oh, man, I was a little nervous. <laughs> Shoot! Why would Malfoy turn into him? All I could really remember about that dream is that it also sort of reveals the twist at the end where, like, Quirrell is, like, having, a, like, his turban is talking in the dream, mm -hmm, I think, mm -hmm, as well. Mm -hmm. And that's all I really remembered. Other than it seemed like it was a, it was a stress dream, so, like, all the people... Harry didn't like, so it was like Malfoy to Snape is what I was Ah, oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah. all right, that makes sense. <clears throat> that makes sense. I don't remember that happening in the book at all. 
Mm. Yeah, you know, that's that's totally one of those where, like, I don't go back often all the way to the first book because there is less, like, major big-time implications sure. from it. Mm-hmm. So I feel like a lot of times I, I reread Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, and Deathly Hallows. Just, just the back end. Right. 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 Yeah. Voldemort's back. Let's go. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> that's when that's when, like when Horcruxes and prophecies and yeah, all that yeah comes into play. Sure. Hallows. Question fourteen: okay. Which textbook did Snape confiscate from Harry in Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone when he was quote unquote looking for a reason to tell them off? I feel fairly certain about it. Yeah, I, I, I it's a shot in the dark. All right, three, two, one. Quidditch through the ages. The correct answer is Quidditch through the ages. Yeah. Hey, yes. Man, you don't seem like you wrote enough letters to get to the same amount of words. <laughs> I'm very I deceptive. Know. I know. It seems like I feel like I'm writing for a while, and I'm like, I've got it right, and Ben's wrong because he couldn't. He, he only he didn't write nearly <laughs> enough things, but somehow you did. Somehow. How did it happen? We don't Magic. know. Quis- Christian. Christian. Christian number Christian. fifteen. Thank you, Flintwick. Uh, <laughs> question number 15. In the chapter, The Prince's Tale, what is the first thing we saw Snape say to a young Lily? This is tricky. It is rather tricky. I have at least a guess. Let me, let me travel back to this moment. Yeah, I have, I have, I have like a... I don't know if I'll be able to get it word for word, but I feel like I have an idea of what it is. I know, yeah, like I know what the encounter's about. Oh, we could go multiple choice. We could go multiple could choice. Could go multiple could. choice. I'd be, wi- I'd be willing to go multiple choice. All right, let's do it. Let's okay. multi it. I've been watching you for a while. You're a witch. I know what you are. It's obvious, isn't it? All right. Got my guess. Okay, me too. Three, two, one. It's obvious, isn't it? It's obvious, isn't it? Isn't Correct. it, though? <laughs> it's not oh, obvious. My initial guess was, you're a witch. That's what mine was, too. That's what, so, yeah. so when I heard that, probably even if you go back and like watch, I think I even like, nodded. Like, <laughs> I think that's like, it. Uh-huh. And then I was trying to replay the scene even further. I, was, I, was, I think Petunia asks, how do you do it? And he pops out, and he's like, it's obvious. And he, you know, starts being all gross. All sneaky. Yeah, I've been yeah. watching you for a while. <laughs> I thought I thought he leaks that out after they've known each other a little bit longer. Is that not accurate? Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. he totally just no, nope, just jumps jumps just, that gun just, right, just away. right on into it. <laughs> he just it's a blunder right from the start. Right from the start. Right from okay. The All right. Question sixteen: mm. What was the first name of Snape's father? Three, two, one. Tobias. Good old Toby Snape. Boom. <laughs> Toby Snape. What a great name. Question 17. What obvious thing did Harry say about ghosts that Snape mocked him for? Three, two, one. They're transparent? The correct answer is they are transparent. Boom! Oh, man. They're dead. <laughs> that is one of the answers. That is obvious, though. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I was more going on than actually remembering this incident itself. It's like... <laughs> What is it about ghosts that would be... <laughs> what are obvious things about ghosts? Right, right. So yeah. is that Chamber of Secrets when it's... Somebody either... sees the bastards through the Yeah, ghost. maybe through the ghost. But he's, he's talking about, like, them being an echo of somebody. Maybe it's Order of the Phoenix, so it gives you some context about serious dying or something. I don't know. I don't okay, okay. exactly when it is. I just remember this encounter. Question 18. Select all that apply. Which of these essay subjects did Snape set Harry's class during his time at Hogwarts? Truth potions, the properties of bezoars, dementors, werewolves, undetectable poisons, and the use of moonstones. I feel confident about a few of them, and then I'm like on the fence about one, but it's like if you get, if you miss any, the whole question's wrong. Right, right, These right, are right. the worst questions in high school. These are the worst questions in high school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, can you get three-fifths of a point? You should be able to. How many How many have you decided are definite? I think I've got three. Uh, I also have three. I'm on the fence. I know the reference to one of them. I doubt one of them. Okay, you want to turn? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, Let's three, give it a shot. two, one, go. I said... I put truth, werewolves, and undetectable poisons. Oh, I said werewolf, dementors, and moonstones. Well, the correct see. answers okay. are werewolves, yep. 
the use of moonstones. Yeah. Undetectable poisons. No! And Dementors. Oh, this is the one I was on the fence about. I was like, I don't remember him saying that one. It just seems, it's probably like, ah. Uh, I knew it wasn't Bezor's because, like, Snape, yeah, because, like, he Harry bruises. remembers it from the book. Like, he sees it in the Half-Blood Prince book. Okay. So, like, he if he had the essay, I feel like he would have remembered it. And I didn't think there was a Truth Potion one. Because they wouldn't have gotten to that until Slughorn took over. I would have thought werewolves and moonstones were the same thing, and I was trying to remember if... I would, I would have assumed that moonstones had something to do with oh, werewolf werewolves, things, but maybe not. Mm. I think the moonstones is just the potions thing. The werewolf ones when he's trying to get them to catch on to Lupin. Right. And then the Dementor one is must be near six. I'm surprised that he does one on Dementors, because it would almost seem like one of those things where he would... Like, be hoping more in anticipation of them not being as privy to that danger. Like, it seems like something Lupin would have assigned. It does. Like, this is but very like, useful information to have. I guess. Maybe, like, because it's defense against the dark arts and it's so advanced that you typically not cover it until later years. Okay, 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 okay. Although, I guess third years are supposed to handle werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I don't think anybody's ready to handle werewolf. Question 19. Which of these Snape-themed chapter titles is not real? Oh. Snape Victorious. The Sacking of Severus Snape. Snape's Biggest Lie. Or Snape's Worst Memory. Okay. I gotcha. All right. Three, two, one. Snape's Biggest Lie. Ah, oh, Sacking of Severus Snape. The correct answer is Snape. Snape's Biggest Lie. <laughs> Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, when does he get sacked? That's the one in the Deathly Hallows where they like run him out of the castle. I think. Okay. Like the chapter before the like Battle of Hogwarts starts. That would seem like it would be giving things away. With the chapter title. The chapter title does that sometimes though. Huh? Mm -hmm. Sure, sure, sure. The boy who lived. I thought I thought that the uh, the sacking, Sorry. I actually I remembered the title itself, but I thought that it was in reference to like Hagrid or Dumbledore or Umbridge. It was so alliterative that... Yeah. True. Okay. Question 20. Question 20. Which of these derogatory names has Snape never been called in the Harry Potter books? Slime Ball, Overgrown Bat, Ugly Git, or Two-Faced Creep? Oh, man, I'm really on the fence about two of them. Ah, uh, this, is, this is tricky. It's just one of them? It's just one. Just one. I feel like one, I feel like there's like a, it's like a red herring is what I feel like. I'm going to get this one wrong. I just have it. So, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like falling for the trap or not falling for it. You want to turn? Yeah, let's just right. do it. Three, two, one. I said two-faced creep. I said slime ball. He has never been called a two-faced creep. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. I hate when he has a shot in the dark and gets it wrong. <laughs> my other one is between ugly git. I knew uh, the Marauder's Map calls him a slime ball. Ah. The slime ball. Mm -hmm. Does it not say Severus Snape? Hmm? It doesn't say Severus Snape? Well, it's like Snape says something oh. like, I, Severus Snape, master of this school, command you to reveal your secrets. And then it's like, Mr. Wormtail says, agrees with Mr. Padfoot, and thinks he should wash his hair. The slime ball, or something like that. It would seem like grease would be a word that you use instead of slime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like because one of the other marauders calls him a greasy person first. Uh, and then they're calling him a slime ball. Okay, all right. There it is. 21. This is not going well, by the uh, way. It's not great. I don't, not know, great. I don't know Snape that well, apparently. No, apparently not. I think I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. Question 21. What year was Snape born? Oh, what? What? No. Yes. What? <laughs> this is a joke. What year was the Battle this of Hogwarts? Is nonsense. That's the other thing. It's like when the I mean, that was hold on. Let me just when they were. Oh, it's, it's, this could be like. I bet. I bet all the answers are like right in a row. Oh, that you would know? be frustrating. That would be frustrating. But we can't. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Uh, I feel marginally okay. I feel okay, this. but it's like it's just like you're gonna be off by like. The I'm question gonna, is the question I, is how old were like I can't be off. I can't I can't be off by that much. I just don't know how long. Uh, okay, let's just let's just turn. 
I'm trying to decide if I'm changing my answer. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, hmm. Is it pretty? I'm going to be so mad if I'm off by one. I'm Me just... too. I'm going to be mad if I had just changed it away from the right answer to the wrong answer. Three, two, one. So 1950. 1960. The correct answer is 19... 60. No! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> what did you have? Okay, so I was trying to remember what year the Battle of Hogwarts. I knew he was 37. Show us here. Huh? Oh, oh sorry. You knew his age. So I knew he was 37, and I couldn't remember. The, the years of Hogwarts always weirdly screw with me because they don't correspond with when the books themselves came out. They're like much, much earlier, so. Do you want to know something stupid? I literally just did the math wrong. <laughs> no way. I literally no. did. I did uh, 1981 minus 21 and should have had 1960 and put 1950. Oh, no. So because I knew that James and Lily, was, I thought I thought James was 21 when they were dead, when they died. And so I did just 17 years after the Battle of Hogwarts, and then I was like, and then 21 years after that. Ah. Uh. I just literally subtracted wrong. I'm so mad. That's so <laughs> stupid. That's a huge. Oh my god. That's a huge. Oh, the, the question. Oh, uh, uh, in some ways, I'm glad. I was guessing. I was guess. I wasn't sure if they were 20, 21, or 22 when they died. Okay. But you knew his actual. How did you know his age? I feel like it was like just researching Snape for something. Because <sighs> I think I was always surprised because I pictured him much older. So when I when I found out he was like only like 37, it yeah. was like. Oh, okay. Because it's even one of those where I wonder if he if it was as planned from the beginning because mm -hmm. it seems like they portray him as like an old... Like, 37 is still a relatively young guy. I read. So... <laughs> Hard agree. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on 30 over there, brother. Practically just born. You're practically Snape. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. <laughs> sorry. What was the question? That, what number are we on? 22. 20. Question 22. How was Snape's handwriting described during his OWL exam as seen through the pensive? Uh, I know that's... I feel like that's right. I know his handwriting is this way. Yeah, over there. Well, I, I feel like I, my memory immediately went to something, and then I was afraid that I'm, that I'm confusing it with something else. Do you want to go multiple choice on it? I don't know. I'm like, I feel like I've got it right, but... I feel it's, like I would definitely get it if we get it. It's... Okay, your call. <sighs> this, well, just, let's just reveal. Okay, three, two, one. I said a tiny scrawl. Oh, I said slanted. The correct answer is minuscule and cramped. So, like... <laughs> <laughs> tiny is what I said. Minuscule and cramped. I think we both got it wrong. <laughs> I think so, too. Minuscule and cramp. I, I would have gotten that. I think I was thinking a little bit of Dumbledore's handwriting. Mm, yes. How was that always described? So it was described it's always as slanted. Slanted. Yeah. slanted. Okay, so maybe that's curvy and slanted. Okay. It's, it, now that I think about it, she describes handwriting an awful lot. Yeah. How about that? Oh, you know what it is? I think I actually wrote down Hagrid's. He has a tiny mm, scroll. Yep. Ah, uh, minuscule and cramp. That's interesting. Yeah. Maybe we should make a video about handwriting in Harry Potter. <laughs> maybe. Handwriting. Weirdly popular. Okay. 23. Untidy scrawl yeah. is Hagrid's. Untidy. That's what I was saying. Tidy and N. I missed the N and the D. I switched. Stone cakes? Is that what he makes? Rock cakes. Rock cakes. <laughs> Rock cakes. That, that's one that we get wrong in this quiz. Uh, yeah, right. Uh. Question 23. Okay. In Snape's potions puzzle that protected the Philosopher's Stone, how many bottles were nettle wine? How many bottles were nettle wine? Yes. All right. Three, two, one. Dose. Dose is correct amundo. Boom. Heck yeah. Is it you'll always, it's something like you'll always find poison on nettle wine's right side, or is it <clears throat> safety? I don't know. One of those. It's either poison or it's safety. Question 24. What ingredient did Harry forget to add to his draft of peace, much to Snape's enjoyment? Draft of peace. Draft of peace. 
Didn't we just learn that draft was originally pronounced draught? Draught. Draught. In Linden. I Linden. would take I would take the multiple choice on this one. Okay, let's go multiple choice. All right, the choices are Essence of Dittany, Powdered Moonstone, A Dash of Leech Juice, Syrup of Hellebore. Do you know this doesn't help me at all? Okay, this is what I'm going with, and I will explain my rationale later. Okay, three, two, one. Moonstone. Dittany. The correct answer no. is Syrup of Hellebore. Stupid! <laughs> no, because see, I said Dittany because Dittany is the thing that heals like the wounds. It like makes it like feel like numb. Right. And it's like the drought of peace. Yep. So I was thinking that seems like an obvious ingredient for it, such a thing. It does. I think I was thinking that I knew I knew that ingredient Hell from elsewhere more. and I was like, I feel like I would have recognized it more. Hell um, more. Then what the only made other, up word. It's, a, it's a type of flower, Jay. What? It's a type of flower. Yeah. So is Dittany. Maybe we should put a picture of a hellebore. I will. Maybe we on should. A picture of a hellebore on screen. And now it's, you know. It's, and now, maybe it's a flower. Maybe it's like a <laughs> flaming pig. You know, I feel like these quizzes are. <laughs> Yeah, I can see uh, a hellebore. A hellebore. <laughs> I um, I feel bacon like these these quizzes it's just bacon. These quizzes have literally changed the way I read the books. Are, are you like that's gonna be something? Yes, yes absolutely. Me too. Me too. I'm, I'm like, like that's something. What a weird detail. Remember it. Commit <laughs> it to memory. Question twenty five. What was Ron's punishment by Snape for defending Hermione in Prisoner of Azkaban? Is it something specific? It must be. Let me think. Oh, wait a second. Because maybe I'm not thinking of the right thing. Oh, oh goodness gravy. I might not be. Well, either way, I'm sticking with it, because I can't remember. Man, now this seems like too... My answer seems too basic. Is your answer detention? Yeah. Yeah. So far. <laughs> Is that what you wrote? <laughs> that is not what I wrote. Is that what you wrote? That's what I'm like. I'm like... Okay, we, we could go multiple choice. I have an answer, but I'm fairly certain what I'm thinking of is in Chamber of Secrets. What I'm trying to decide is if it's like 15 points from Gryffindor or something. You know? If it's, it's like, are they looking for the specific point value? Like, if he gives us the answers and it's like 10 points from Gryffindor, 15 points from Gryffindor, <laughs> 20 points, you know, I'm like, you're gonna be so mad. That's that's a dumb question if that's Right, what that's it a is. dumb question. All right, let's just, let's go multiple choice with it. Okay, okay. If you, I swear. <laughs> go. The answers are... To wash every toilet in Hogwarts without magic. To scrub the hospital wing bedpans without magic. To clean the trophy room without magic. Or to scour every cauldron in the potions classroom without magic. Okay, I got it. I got I, it. Uh, I got it. Just discovered that our table doubles as a whiteboard. Hmm. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> All right, three, two, one. Bedpans! Oh, no, is it? <laughs> this is the Chamber of Secrets because he learns about Tom Riddle there. In the but Prisoner of Azkaban, the <laughs> punishment is to wash without magic the bedpans yeah! in the hospital. Oh, man. Okay, I knew it couldn't be the cauldrons because he gives them the detention while he's covering for Lupin. So he wouldn't... It wouldn't be potion related. And then all the toilets in Hogwarts seems outrageous. Even for Snape. I know, but I thought I remembered that he specifically had to polish... The trophies. He does have to in the Chamber of Secrets. Right, right, right. And that's that's what I was confused of because I knew that his wand backfired and so he was like burping up the slugs. Right, and, and he burps one it. up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I don't think that's right because I think by prisoner he has his own. But I had wrote trophies and then when I heard it, I was like, okay, well, so maybe that's right. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't have thought that he had to twice clean something. You know, right, right. Like as like that would seem like the same punishment. Like, like we've twice. already done that punishment. We've already done that punishment. Yeah, I think she does that punishment in <coughs> chamber so that Ron can connect who Tom Riddle is to a date. Right for right, Harry. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Question twenty six. During detention with Snape, Harry was tasked with clearing out old records of student punishments. What box number did Snape ask him to start at? Now that's outrageous as well. Okay, on principle. What box number? What box number, I ask you? What? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, multiple choice, I guess. Maybe this will zero it in. Okay. 1,397. Multiple choice. The answers are 
2014, 394, 5,095, and 1,012. Man, I thought that last one was going to be it. <laughs> Aha, I see what they did there with one of these. <laughs> That's a clever joke, Pottermore quiz. Do you see what they did there? I don't think so. Oh, good. Excellent. DK, let's be sure to put it on screen for the viewers back home. I will. Turn to page 394. What a hilarious gag. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> but I what know was, that wait, one's not it. <laughs> what, was the, what was the first option? Uh, 2014. I don't know. An even number doesn't doesn't seem like a super snapey number. <laughs> snapey. Snapey. I know what you mean. Snappish. Oh okay. my gosh. All right, I'm, oh. So, oh, I see what they did. Yeah, you finally got it. I got it. <laughs> Look at you. It only took a while. I was going to say that one too. <laughs> That would have been embarrassing. Okay. Oh my gosh, I would have died. I, I would have died. <laughs> like, okay, I'm just guessing now. Okay, three, two, one. I said 1,012. Me too! The correct answer is 1,012. Ah. Turn yes! to page 394. Yes. Right. Oh man, oh man. Oh man. Yeah, I was like, I thought they'd like, <laughs> the number spelled something out and that's what you were, that's what I was looking for. But yeah, I see what they did. All right, what are we on, 27? Question 27. While making up fake dreams for his divination homework, what did Harry say he'd done to Snape? What did Harry say he'd done to Snape? Interesting. <sighs> this is in, this must be in Goblet. Or in Prisoner. Isn't that when divination's like... It's when it's most... that uh, They don't do dream journals in Prisoner, though. Okay. What a class. <laughs> just nonsense class, basically. It's just like, like everybody agrees. <laughs> yeah. Now they're like, like some Parvati and Lavender are like, oh my god, Trelawney. Yeah. They seem like kind of That's dummies. what bothered me the most about Ron dating Lavender. That she liked divination? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's like, come on, Ron, you can do better than a girl who likes divination. <laughs> like Hermione. That's almost like, yeah, it's like the counterpoint. Right, you're right, like, right. Like, like watch out of right. Yeah, like walks out of it, and Lavender like leans into it. Oh yeah, man, never made that connection. Point, me either. Interesting. Interesting. But we just did on camera. We did. Um, I would. I have just not even a guess. Not even a guess. I would. Um, you want multiple choice, or are you guessing? It. I'm gonna go multiple choice. Okay. This is not. We are like not pro in it this season. No, that's right. Uh, multiple choice. Yes, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Drowned Snape in his cauldron. Cursed Snape in a duel. Poured his potion over Snape's head, mashed up scarab beetles that had Snape's face. All right, three, two, one. Scarab beetles. I said drowned in a cauldron. That seems a little dark. The correct answer is drowning Snape in his cauldron. Ha! Booyah! That's the only one that like rang any bell in my mind of like I remember these words in that order, but I don't even I don't remember the instance. It just felt familiar. That was the only one where I was like, nope, it's definitely not that one. <laughs> That's so dark. Yeah, it's like, oh no, he couldn't possibly turn in a journal where he says he had a dream about drowning one of the professors at the school. It does seem inappropriate. Yes, it does. Yeah. It seems like she probably should have reported him to HR. <laughs> <laughs> like Hogwarts has such a thing. Question 28. Whereabouts on Spinner's End was Snape's old family house? Where about? Uh-huh. Like as in next to something? Sure. Like That's that. That's not helpful. It is. Not really. I don't know what it's about. I don't remember what it would be next to. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to remember when they visit him there. I'm, tr I'm resisting writing something really stupid like down the way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't think he it's... lived down the way at Spitters Inn, you know? Obviously. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, oh, man. Okay. I guess this could work. I don't. Seems this doesn't even seem they can't be right though, like because of that, you know. Because if he was, then he wouldn't be there. It's hard to discuss my thought process without trying to give things away to Yo, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I gotcha. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, That's yeah. why I'm just not saying anything, right? So, my thought process is uh, I was trying to actually write the sentence that I thought I remembered, and I was hoping that writing it would just fill in the blank at the end of it. I'll be able to explain it afterwards, like. Okay, we'll just, I have no idea. Let's just guess, or reveal. Okay, well, hang on, let me... Okay. Uh, 
one of my favorite parts about this quiz show is that I make eye contact with you constantly. (laughs) And like, so all of the pictures that they grab after the fact, I'm always looking, I'm like, (laughs) DK. As if it's your fault for the question being difficult. Okay, three, two, one. I said on top of a hill. (laughs) You're that snip kid from next to the river. (laughs) Yeah. You're that same uh, kid from town next to the river. The correct answer is the very last house. The very last. See, I was thinking hmm. on top of a hill. I remember Bellatrix and Narcissa apparating there, and then there's like a hill where like there's a fox that they kill. And I was like, all I can think of the, about is the hill. But like, obviously, if you have like house on a hill, it typically means like rich person. Right. Which like Snape isn't. No, no, no. Yeah, so Snape, Snape is in, and I think what I was trying to remember, I feel like Petunia says something where she, like, identifies him. She's like, oh, you're that, that person. And I was just trying to think of any landmark for, because it's a relatively, like, otherwise nondescript area. So right. like, they wouldn't say, like, from down next to the factory or something like that. Like, mm-hmm. there wouldn't be a, a buzzword like that. Right. It's... That's why I was thinking, like, down the way or something. Right, right, right. Like, from over there. From over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The very last house. This is... Oh. Question 29. Okay. Which of the following did Snape call Harry? Scruffy-haired celebrity? Rule-breaking celebrity? Pint-sized celebrity? Scar-headed celebrity? Which one did he not? Yes. Which one did he? Oh, which one did he? Uh-oh. He only called him Mubbies. Ben's like, oh, oh it's wow. obviously, these I'm three right. are obviously yeses. Uh, okay, wait, give him, read him to me again. Just, s- just the front. Scruffy-haired, rule-breaking, pint-sized, scar-headed. I don't feel like you would care about that so much. Okay, I've got my guess. Okay, three, two, one. I said rule rule-breaking. Me too. The correct answer is pint-sized celebrity. All right, man. Uh, I'm trying. If I get this one right, I think I'll be at twenty, which would be better than me. better than nineteen. So let's see. I, think, well. I was I was aiming to get half of these correct. Okay. That question doomed me. Yeah. <laughs> I am now looking at a fourteen out of thirty as a so best possible. I think, so I've got this in the bag. Question thirty: What did Snape throw at Harry in a fury when he caught him watching his old childhood memory? Man, these are hard questions. What did Snape throw at Harry in a fury? So this is in, this is in Order of the Phoenix, right? Yep. I was practicing occlumency. It's like, is it something in a jar? I want to say, not the pensive itself. Clearly, I think I feel like something in a jar isn't specific enough. Am I remembering this wrong? Does he not see Snape's memory in the pensive only in Dumbledore's office? And then I thought he, I thought he backfires the. The legitimacy and then sees into Snape's mind. Mm-mm, no, mm-mm. it's when so why Snape, <clears throat> Snape or is removing his memories and putting them in the pensive so that should Harry backfire the legitimacy, he can't see them. He can't see them. Okay, and then Snape gets called away by Malfoy to go do something for Umbridge, and then Harry's like inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> This kid, Harry was really a pain in the butt. Like, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, this is something worthy of rage. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. So, what could, I mean, of the things he could, I feel like it's a jar of something, or maybe a book, but there's not that many things in his office to even throw, you know. Sure. Jar of something slimy. Maybe some Dittany. Some, I don't think it's Dittany. Um, what are the, I'll, let's, let's just get the multiple choice. Just give them to it us. It doesn't even matter. All right, the multiple point. choice. A jar of porcupine quills, a jar of toad warts, a jar of lacewing flies, or a jar of dead cockroaches. I don't think it's lacewing flies. Porcupine quills, mm, a jar of, what was the second? Toad warts. Toad warts? That doesn't sound right. I feel like I'd remember toad warts. More. I'm going to go with cockroaches. I, Final answer. A jar, a jar of dead cockroaches. <laughs> Let, mm, I'm gonna go with just. I'm gonna go with a porcupine quills, just so that we can. Maybe one of us will get it right. Everybody knows what's gonna happen here. Is it porcupine quills? You know what's. I mean, it has Ben written down his answer in, in an official form. The correct answer is a jar of dead cockroaches. Oh man. <laughs> Yes! Yes! It didn't end up being... Yes! It's a moral victory. Oh my gosh. You know what? I may have 
I may have lost the war, but at least I won the battle. You won that battle. It wasn't even- if you had 14, I only got like 19, so it wasn't as... Uh, that was a that was though. a hard quiz. That was a hard quiz. There is so much information about Snape. There is. There's a lot. Uh, man, I was like racking my brain ahead of time, like trying to think, like, oh, what's his wand or what's his like core or stuff like that. But like, yeah, when he was born, I can't. Be, uh, you know, I'm impressed with us for deducing that out, even though I did the math wrong. Um, <laughs> I think yeah, you technically got that one right. I, yeah. I think you brought it in different work. ways too, which is interesting. Right. Yeah, we like got you did different, different maths. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because that's not something that would be, like, readily available information. I don't know. I, I would be so surprised if they say right. his birth date in the book. There wasn't... I figured there'd be something about Levit Corpus and something about Sectum Sempra. Um, neither of those was in there. Right, right, right. Well, when I first heard the question about which, which quiz... Or which spell did Snape something teach him? Yeah. Like, accidentally teach him or whatever? I thought it was going to be Sectum Sempra. That's exactly what I thought, yeah. yeah. And then I was like, dueling club? <laughs> what? <laughs> Gosh, how? Yeah. <laughs> that spell certainly had some ramifications for Snape. Yeah, oh yeah, no doubt. There's at least a few occasions where, and it changed everything. Mm hmm. Okay, well, so, how did you guys do back home? Did you beat us? Did you Probably. have the answer? So many of you send us tweets that are like, I got a perfect score, and to that I say, I, yeah, right. I don't believe you on this occasion, because that was a hard quiz, that was and a I've read the books a lot. <laughs> True, true, yeah. true. You know, I think one of the yeah. things that also screws with me a little bit is I very frequently will fall asleep to the movies, and I think sometimes I blur stuff mm -hmm. a little bit because I forget if it's the movie's portrayal of it or if it's the book. Right. You know? Well, that happened to us, but there were no foolish wand waving in this class. Right, which I would have yeah. just watched, like, last night. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. I know. Man. And a special thanks to these patrons who support Super Carlin Brothers on Patreon. Well, let us know how you did in the towel section below. If you would like to see even more Harry Potter quizzes on this channel, we'll put some, like, right here. Make sure you go check them out. That's all for today. Bye. Bye.